You know, one of the worst feelings is when you think you've put the toaster down and you haven't, and you're waiting there like an idiot. <laughs> like a loser. Uh, the, tr the, the trauma version of me wants to make a joke about that and like laugh it off, but that did some damage. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba, ba. I've already put serum on my hair. Should we go pink today? Khaki. Please note, this next section um, contains a chat between me and my mum where we discuss her latest book she's reading. It's a book by MC Beaton and it's book four. And my mum tells all the, all the spoilers. So if you don't want spoilers, then please move to this time code, this timestamp. Even though it's really funny, so I would I would I would recommend you watch it, but I get it. <coughs> Beautiful legs and really tall. Oh. Sounds terrible. Yeah, it's really Mum's really gonna amazing. read us some of the Oh no, you can read it. Good morning. Good morning. Say it in a normal voice. What? Good morning. Yeah you go. <laughs> Do you read it? Yeah, I just explain. I've got this app from my local library that's called Libby, and it's Libby, Libby. <laughs> and the the beauty of this Libby is it's got books on it that are not in the library. And I I kind of like these weird ones. If you watched that vlog ages ago where you One picked sec. up my book. Oh, um, there's some there's some cat food in the in the fridge. But it just needs mashing a bit so he doesn't get too too many chunks. It yeah, it's open in the fridge. God forbid he has too many chunks, eh? Are you still filming? Of course I am. Oh, just mash it so he doesn't get so many chunks. Yes, <laughs> just really like the chunks. <laughs> wait, no, we've got to wait till this plane goes over. It's not good for the audio. Okay. <laughs> so no, you were saying about Libby. So Libby, you have to log in with your library card which is where I fell down because I don't have a library card. I actually joined the library, but mm. I can't remember what happened with that. Um, yeah, so you get all these books now and you can also get audio books for free, yes. which is great. And you read loads of stupid stories like I do. Yeah, but the beauty of it, like this one, Beatrice goes to Brighton. <laughs> Beatrice goes to Brighton. Do you want to read a section? MC Beaton. MC Beaton. Is, oh, someone is, else said they love these books. Yeah. Um, and this one is about a young uh, it was, Beatrice. They say middle-aged woman. She used to work as a housekeeper. She worked her way up, um, and then her boss died, her, and left her five thousand pounds or something like that, which is a fortune in those days. And it's I changed say, her life. Yes. And she she's always watched the um, what's he call it? The, the carriages go past with the horses. That, that are like the equivalent of the buses. Oh yeah, the yeah, long, yeah, the yeah. Long distance buses. Going oh, so it was far. really old then. Yeah, eighteen hundred. You didn't mention that. No. Bit. Yeah, really old. And so five grand would not get you anything them. nowadays. No, no, I know, no, no, eighteen hundred. So she's watched them go past the end of the drive where she used to work, going one way, then going the other way, and they used to be going really fast. Mm. And she used to think, imagine being on there and having adventures. So when she gets the money, she decides. Her name's Hannah Pym, not Beatrice, Hannah Pym. She decides, Who's Beatrice then? Um, it's the woman that she's going to Hannah try Pym. and sort out. She's a match, bit of a matchmaker. Mm. Oh, look, the tree fan's back again. Oh, mm. yes. Sorry, carry on, Hannah Pym. So Hannah Pym is a bit of a matchmaker. Um, but wait, who's Beatrice? It's Lady Beatrice Marsham or something. So the woman who got the money is Hannah Pym. 
Hannah Pym, yeah, okay. she's the ex-housekeeper. And her ex-mistress ran away with the footman. Um, and she left all her clothes all in the wardrobe. Who else is confused? And they fit Hannah Pym. So not only has she got the £5,000, she's got this wonderful um, ladies wardrobe oh. with beautiful clothes. Wow. Well, it, it, you couldn't uh, write it, could you? You couldn't write it. And of course they fit her perfectly. Um, so she can now go out and about. So she's can got you read this, us a... She's got this manner of still being like the scullery maid and then she's this and then she's that and then she's worked up. She's got that behind her, mm. but she's also got these fine clothes. And mm. now she's got herself a deaf and dumb footman that she saved from being <laughs> the gallows. Oh my God. Only. Why was... Only viewer. He's not definitely. No, you dumb. just ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Why was he meant to go to the gallows? Because he was working for this woman. He's very handsome. Of course he is. And very tall and athletic. And he was working for this lady. <laughs> she wanted to get fruity with him and he wasn't having it. So she falsely accused him. She hid some jewellery and falsely accused him of taking this jewellery. Who? Had a pim or Mrs. Beaton? This lady, the one, Lady Beatrice. Carsley or something that he was working for, the okay. footman. And somehow Hannah Pym, in the book that I haven't <laughs> read, realised that he looked innocent and took him and saved him from the gallows. Said, I will give this man employment. And That's but good he was a... pretending to be deaf and dumb. He watched a pro programme on Netflix which was called 100 People, and they like test 100 people about loads of different things. And one of them was, how do you think this person's guilty? And it was based on their looks. <gasps> oh. And the amount of people that thought the ugly person was more guilty than the good looking person was yes. mad. Yes, yes. So your fake deaf dumb person. Mm. <laughs> about to go to the gallows. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, do you want to give them a little yeah. snippet? So this is the fourth book in MC Beaton's charming Traveling. The fourth, so we've just given the whole series away. No, no, because no, not really, not really. She's, she's, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, side note that book that mum's reading sounds very problematic. Uh, so <laughs> he wasn't really deaf and dumb. He was just pretending, but he was handsome, so it was fine. Oh, before and after. Yeah, you've got a 11 a.m. haircut. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, what are you looking to have done today? Um, I, I don't like these bits where they come down like that, so I, I have them cut quite high, the yeah. way into my ear, and I like the back sort of quite short so that it's not coming around like that yeah. so I like the back quite short these quite short but I don't want it too too short on top yeah that's what but I you usually... still got put your head down you still got it's all still like yellowy from the pool when you mm. went away yeah so just it was a sort of um uh, salt water chlorine it wasn't chlorine chlorine yeah and Jeff's hair went green <laughs> and it really really went green but he because he's got natural co colored hair well so have i but he just washed his and all the green came out but i the yellow is stuck stayed. yeah yeah so we'll see you all glamorous in well it's 10 40 now so and it's got 20 minutes glamorous in this old t-shirt but i'll do my best <laughs> <laughs> after lovely <laughs> yeah lovely oh you've Covered. I know I'm covered. Did she not I make you wear a gown? Uh, yes, I did wear a gown. Lena, did mum wear a gown? And she's got a lovely brown dog and he's all covered in my grey hair. <laughs> Same as the coffee cup yesterday. Oh, don't. <laughs> lovely. Yeah, so 10 out of 10. Well yeah, done. Yeah, it feels really great. Well really done, Lena. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Oh, I am so done. I've been. Um, I just had a look at my comments and someone just wrote, have you got a job? <laughs> and I get it. I know I film around my job, but it's, it always just makes me laugh. Anyway, um, I've been like uh, doing new website stuff today. So we've had a new website 
we've been needing a new website for a long time we're finally getting one so I've just been working with the developer today telling him what to do what to change I'm gonna be doing most of it but he's like getting um, he's getting the getting us started basically um, he's put on the first villa page and then I'm going to do the other 12, whatever it is. Um, yeah, and then changing all the pictures, doing the blogs, editing down the website to be up to date because our site, there's just loads of old stuff on it. So it's really rewarding because it feels exciting and it feels new. Um, but it's a whole new system as well that we're going to have to learn, which is annoying, but there's too much, yeah the old system we had is um, is written in a really old like language that no, anyway I'm boring myself talking about it but we need a new website and a new booking system and da 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 so if you don't know uh, I work with my mum and we rent villas in Cyprus mum's um, done it for 30 years I've worked with her for about 10 well no I've worked with her for way longer but I had a five year stint of working at, as a receptionist in the meantime. And people used to come in to me and say, why are you doing this job? You could do so much better than you're doing. Thanks so much. People are really shit, aren't they? <laughs> anyway, I'm really driving near that building now. Um, Yeah. And it's funny how people, how many things, I mean, I'm sure I've said many things that are just flippant. But you don't know what's going to stick with somebody, do you? I'm sure many of you watching have had something said to you that's just stuck. Whether it be about anything about you, your personality, your body, your, your life choices somebody you love whatever the sun's coming out for my drive home which is lovely 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 i remember i when i think of things that are stuck with me when i was what 16 i worked in a pet shop and um it was lunchtime and i walk i would always walk down to the co-op which to have a co-op back then I don't know it was a co-op it wasn't like anyway a co-op I always used to go to the bakery first to get a roll and then I'd go over to the co-op and get a meal deal I mean what was I thinking anyway and then I'd come I'd eat like the roll on the way back to the shop and then I'd sit in the back like on top of all the bags of dog food <laughs> true story and like eat my meal deal and a customer came in and wanted me or something and the boss uh, said oh I don't know where she is wait a minute let me check he looked round and I literally was like that with the sandwich and he turned back around to the customer and went oh she's just stuffing her face Ugh. The, tr the, the trauma version of me wants to make a joke about that and like laugh it off but that did some damage well the damage was obviously already I was the damage was already there because of the way that I used to use use food to like soothe my whatever to so soothe my emotions and then to be witnessed in that and for it to be like said so flippantly wow this got deep really quick um, but yeah and that was <laughs> that was 20 18 years ago but you know we all sometimes we sometimes say things don't we like I'm sure I've said something to somebody and it's lives scot-free in their head 
without me knowing it. God, that's shit feeling to think about. Yeah, let's not think about that. Yeah, she's stuffing her face. That bakery was great though. You know, one of the worst feelings is when you think you've put the toaster down and you haven't, and you're waiting there like an idiot, <laughs> like a loser that doesn't have toast on the way that they thought they did. And I'm not one to say, oh, excuse the hair, excuse the, excuse the way I look, but honestly, please excuse this t-shirt. It's absolutely, <laughs> it's one of those like, look at the holes in the shoulder. But it's, it's just so, oh my God, I'm up. It's just so comfy. It's just like my old shitty bed t-shirt. Okay, it's 9am on a Saturday. And I have just made my coffee using instant coffee in my velvetizer that Maggie gave me because it broke, it didn't break. Basically, the lid doesn't fit perfectly, and she wrote to Velvetizer HQ. Chocolate. This is it Hotel Chocolate. Hotel Chocolate. I said that wrong. She wrote to Hotel Chocolate, and she said, excuse me, I've paid a hell of a lot of money for this Velvetizer. My lid doesn't fit properly. Even though it still works function, it still functions fine. And they were like, okay, we'll send you a new one. And she was like, no, I don't need a new one. I just need a new lid, like what's happening? Like, no, it's fine, we'll send you a new one. So Maggie has her lovely new velvetizer. And I have the perfectly functioning one that doesn't quite fit right, but works fine and makes lovely creamy coffees. So we're gonna taste it. Game change. Somebody actually, one of you lot commented, make your coffees in the in the velvetizer. Yum. Nice. Got a, oh, the toast has finally popped up. Ah! Why did I touch the metal? Ow. You know what my head sung when I said ah? My head went ah! Is that Lion King? And ow. Yeah, I'm going to turn you off because this, this, uh, I can't give you a lower view of this top, sorry. This is my breakfast, it looks grim as anything. I cut the tomato up on the plate, so I don't know why I did that. It was a mistake. Got some grated parmesan or grana padano. Grana, grana, oh my god. Grana, grana padano? A sliced tomato and a little egg that I cooked the other day and put in the fridge for a snack and now I'm having it. Yum. I've just witnessed some of the best parking, parallel parking, other than my own, lol, that I've ever seen in my life. The white van here. I He pulled up to that middle space between those two grey cars and I was like, ain't no way. There's, ain't, there's no way he's getting in there. And he did it in three moves. Duh, duh, duh. <laughs> we are not worthy of white van driver. Oh, that's a great song. Play Ain't No Way by Aretha Franklin. I can't speak. She did just say it's a woman's job to get and love a man. Sorry, I don't understand. Neither do I. Incorrect, Aretha. There are a lot of ways you can live your life. <laughs> Shall we do a bit of makeup? Don't ask. Okay, 
Okay, so today I'm going to a picnic, a child's, Emma's friend's baby's birthday, first birthday. Factor 50 plus vitamin C, Garnier, daily UV. I've already put moisturizer on, Nivea. I don't do this every day. I wish I did. I don't know why I've got it in my head that today is the day that I'm gonna straighten my hair because <laughs> I've literally got my straightener sitting here. I'm going to a park. You're going to a park, Lauren. What is the weather today in St. Neots? Today in St. Neots, it will be cloudy with a forecast high of 21 and a low of 14. Currently, it's 14 degrees and partly cloudy. Okay, so there isn't any rain scheduled, which is good. I'm gonna put on the bare bones of makeup, so just a tiny bit. This is actually, it's um, it's from Mina. Um, it's from Mina. It's just a foundation. It's just a concealer that is actually a bit too dark for me as a concealer. So I kind of just use it as like a a light foundation in my more pigmented slash T zone area. I do have another one that I actually use as concealer, which is the NYX Can't Stop, Don't Stop 24 hour matte finish in Colour Fair. I do have a brush for that, but there we go. What's the weather like today here? Today in London, it will be cloudy with a forecast high of 22 and a low of 16. Cause it, right now it's 16 degrees and mostly cloudy. It feels like it's got R-A-I-N in the air. But we're not going to mention that. Little bit of highlighter on my cheeks. My glass nail file broke. Well. They did say they were shatterproof. Obviously lies. Oh baby, there put uh, it's a silly idea to straighten my hair, isn't it? Maybe I'll just do like the tips. Just the tip. <laughs> You're going to a one year old's birthday. You don't need to look like you're going out on the town. Sometimes if I'm on like a roll of like, I'm not going to put much makeup on and then all of a sudden I'm like, whoa, um, I put my blush on because my blush or my bronze, sorry, my bronzer, my bronzer always just like completes my face. So then I feel like I don't have to put as much on. Just makeup in general. <laughs> that was so messy. That was really bad. Then I just, what's it called? Buff it in with a foundation brush. Sometimes I'm feeling a bit saucy, I put a bit of bronze on my eyelid. You know, I'm going to a one year old's birthday. <laughs> Cause it ties it in nicely, lovely. Oh baby, there ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no river wild enough to get me to feel you, Last night, I didn't film it because I wanted to have just some alone time. Me, myself and I. I, um... up my well I sorted out my makeup drawer which is over there I didn't do this um, but yeah I did the drawer which felt very good to do a little bit of cream blush yeah so I sorted out my makeup drawer but I didn't film it 
I got rid of quite a lot actually. I'm gonna offer my off cuts to Emma first. Cause a lot of it is new stuff. A few of the colors are just not right for me. And then I'm gonna give it away on Olio or something. What time is it? It's 9.49 a.m. Oh good. Hey no way. Stop putting it on now, otherwise you're going to make it go clumpy. Okay. They look great. They never look that great. Thank you, makeup gods. Five minute timer. All right, five minutes. Starting now. I mean... Maybe I'm just delirious, but my hair looks super cute, just like that. Stop. It's because this top bit, because I've dried it, because I've dyed it so much, it just always looks frazzled. And I know that heat is not the answer to that, but I'm gonna do it. GHD. Heat protect spray, really freaking old. Got them, got it free. I think I actually got it free with this straightener, which was a present. I'm not a, you know me. I'm not on money bags. Hey, big spender. Did I set another timer? I only got my hair dyed last week. Look. Or was it two weeks ago? Let me give it a rough go over. I want to start making more. I don't know, I don't want to say effort with myself because I feel comfortable in my skin enough to, no, that's the wrong phrase. I want to put more care into my hair. I've never liked these. GHD Gold. Okay, I did want to leave in five minutes. We're not far off though. Have faith. If none of you sung the George Michael lyric, I've taught you nothing. <laughs> If you did sing the George Michael lyric, please comment below. Why are you straightening your hair if you're going to a park? Is that the next UK number one? Why are you straightening your hair you're going to a park? I know these sections are way too big. Stop. To be honest, I'm not even due at Emma's till 12. But I wanted to get there an hour early, so. We could spend some time together before going out. So I'm, all, I'm still an hour early. I know, who is she? Where did you find her? I don't know how I feel about this. I should have used my hot brush to like, because this feels a bit like straight straw now. I have put serum on it and it hasn't really helped. But I like it for a change. I'm a fan of the makeup. I'm wearing my uh, jumpsuit. with a nice thick white t-shirt underneath it. Because it's not cold today, but I needed an extra layer. And I don't, I didn't really fancy wearing a dress to a picnic 
I'd rather man spread, if I'm honest. <laughs> Um, um, I've got a CBD drink with peach ginger lightly sparkling. I forgot that I used to take CBD oil before I started an uh, antidepressants. Hmm. Yum. Let's see if it will help me feel better at this horrendous time. I had to, oh hi by the way, we've just been at Marrow, M-A-R-O, uh, look at these houses. They're just amazing, we're in, um, we were at Union Chapel in Islington and it was just such a good gig, like she just seems like such a genuine lovely person. And I'm not sure if it was obvious, but she got like the crowd like singing bits of the harmonies. It was so good. And I was there with Amy. Absolutely blooming knackered. It's 20 to 11. And I've literally got out that gig like five minutes ago. Oh, bloody knackered. Let's get the navigation on. Do a turn in the road. Nicely done. Nicely done. I just left Amy and she was like, I would stay and chat, but I feel like I need to process what I've just seen. I was like, yeah, same. <laughs> it was just beautiful. Um, it's now Monday night, 6 p.m., 6, 18, 11 p.m. And I'm editing next week's video, even though the one for tomorrow is already done. I'm winning at life this week. In terms of my video, anxiety, horrendous video arranging, excellent. Look at my baby pop up. No, sorry, sweetie. Literally, sweetie. Hoya Kerry. Kerry I? Not sure. So I showed this, I think, in last week's or the week before's video. So we had this one and it had a little nubbin and I didn't know what it was going to do. And now the nubbin is a leaf. Well done! I'm so proud of you. You're doing so good. <laughs> hmm. 
well done. I never really know when to wash wash her. That's not the right way. Uh, feed her, water her. But seem to be doing an all right job. This is one of my plants that I'm going to be giving away when I move. Oh, blimey. This was actually quite a few little. Oh no, why did I do that next to my laptop? I'm an idiot. Future you is an idiot. Okay, I think I've sorted out now. Um, oh, he's had a haircut. I don't actually know why I even took that out because I don't have another nursery pot to put it in. So is my friend. You're just gonna have to wait a bit. I know that you've been wondering, um, I still haven't found that memory card. I know. So annoying, right? Yeah. Really annoying. Okay, back to work. <laughs> it's work night, so we've got takeaway. Which I am very excited about. We got sushi and some prawn, prawn dumplings as well. And as always, they always give me two sets of chopsticks. I am only one person. dumplings don't mind if I do I need to choose something on Netflix to eat to eat to watch but I don't know what that will be Mmm. Yum. You can't be mad at me and not mad at them. Ned. Flex. Is it time for a Christmas movie? You've reached the end of the video. Um, and I know that I promised loads of packing in this one and I really thought it would happen but as you saw or maybe you haven't seen I was ill for like the last four days so I didn't get any packing done none zilch I stayed at my mum's house I was really lucky to have her to look after me because I was just I think it was flu I don't know but I was there when I didn't start when I started not feeling very well so I just stayed there and yeah I am very glad to be very very glad to be over it now so thank you so much for watching as you can see I'm driving um, thank you so much for watching and getting to this part in the video I've had such an amazing lot of feedback from you guys about these like slower chatty videos so many of you seem to love it um, as a way to like calm down after a busy day and that's exactly what they're there for you know um, and I'm really glad that yeah they're going down well I suppose I feel like I'm finally after all this time like finding my niche and finding where I fit which feels really good 
after all these years, right? 14 years, I think, this year I've been making videos. So if you're like, Laura and I we want more videos, just go back and watch the backlog. I mean, to be fair, I'm a very different person in, I've been so many versions of myself. Um, many different personalities many different hairstyles many different sizes so if you want to laugh <laughs> i don't think i was as funny back then i may have been skinny but i wasn't that funny i actually got a really lovely comment from somebody saying that um they've watched me for years and that i seem like my most authentic self now and i can tell you i definitely feel it so um yeah i love you lots thank you so much for watching if you could comment and like it really helps the algorithm um yeah share with all your friends the normal the normal things really if you'd like to support me and buy me a coffee my link is below and i'll see you next week for definitely some more packing stuff because honestly time's ticking so i'll see you soon bye Pa 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 pa